everyone, welcome to the Cranky Old Gamer. Uh, today we're going to be doing an unboxing video. Uh, this is a game that is a licensed game based on a show. I actually really don't like the show. Uh, I tried, just could not get into it. But I have a lot of friends that are diehard fans. So I know a lot of you guys are really going to enjoy this. Um, that game. Sons of Anarchy, Men of Mayhem. Um, I like Kurt Sutter. I was a big fan of The Shield, but just something about Sons of Anarchy didn't do it for me, which is funny because it has so many actors that I love. If, if, if only just um, it had Henry Rollins, but I, I just couldn't get into the show. So, um, but the reason I picked this up is the, the game has gotten rave reviews for being an excellent worker placement game. Um, I've had a lot of people say that even if you completely strip the license from the game and it was just a worker placement game on its own, that this would still be a phenomenal game. And in fact, there are some people that think the license has kind of held the game back because people look at it and go, oh, it's a TV license game. Those are never good. But this one apparently is. I have not gotten a chance to play. As you can see, shrink wrap is still on. So we're going to do this unboxing video, and then as soon as I can get this to the table, I'm going to do a review for it. All right, so let's crack into it, shall we? All right, so here we have Sons of Anarchy, Men of Mayhem, uh, a game of money, guns, and violent consequences. It's for three to four players, 90 minutes, ages 13 and up. Okay, okay that's maybe questionable. Um, box contains clubhouse cards. Uh, let's see, let me read this here. In Sons of Anarchy, Men of Mayhem, you are the president of an outlaw club directing the gang's criminal enterprises. Strategically order your gang members to occupy key locations and exploit profitable opportunities. Deal with rivals, bribe, threaten, and bargain with other gangs. When words fail, violence is inevitable. Throw down with your rivals to wreck their plans or settle a score. The law is always watching. Keep the heat off your back, keep your illicit activities quiet, and keep your members out of jail. When push comes to blood... Do you have what it takes to pull the trigger? Uh, there's a review from... Oh, never mind. That's just a quote from the show. It says, On the fringe, blood and bullets are the rule of law. And if you're a man with convictions, violence is inevitable. From John Teller, founding member of Sam Crow, which is the biker gang from the show, if you're not already aware. Um, so, let's crack into it, shall we? It looks like we have a nice little tear here to get started. Ooh, the quality of the box is very nice. Got a linen finish here. Uh, if you are a fan of the show, there is, you know, all the very nice branding, uses all the right fonts. Does not look half-assed at all. Okay. All right. Um, again, very nice linen finish. You have kind of a faintly little, it's not embossed, just a faintly uh, anarchy symbol here. And here we go. First thing we see, rule book. And I just want to point out on the side, it has all kinds of art mug shots from the show. Very cool. Rule book takes up the whole size of the box. That is very large. Ooh, I see tokens. Um, very nice rule book. Uh, looks like very quality, has a checklist of everything that's in there. Very easily readable. Um, font, pictures indicating, full color, full page, very nice. Uh, looks like we've got some layouts. Uh, oops, went too far. Uh, shots from the show, examples of cards. All right, I think this is going to be, I have not yet read this, but I think this is going to be a very good uh, rule book. We shall see how well it explains once we actually get to play. All right, got an appendix here, transactions. All right, cool. So we'll set that aside. Next, we have our tokens. Ooh, lots of tokens. Check this out. All right, we have cell phones, we have money, we have badges. We don't need no stinking badges. More money. I like that this game comes with lots of money. I like money. Ooh, this game has miniatures. Hooray. Oh, look at, oh, ooh, so many miniatures. Uh, they are color-coded per gang. Uh, they look like they're all pretty much the same, though. Um, are the bikers all the same? 
Okay, yeah, they are all the same. If you can see, the bikers are identical, just different colors. Um, then you got, let's see, let me get a color that you'll be able to see on the camera. How about green? Uh, little dudes. And let's see, that looks to be about it. You got three colors, black, purple, red, and green. Uh, I know that there is an expansion for this. I don't know what color they are. But it comes with a bag. I like bags. You guys should see some of my games and how anal retentively I have bagged them. Hold on, let me get all the... No, the miniatures are escaping. And I'll ride away on their bikes. And we have more. These are not miniatures, but they are 3D tokens. Uh, looks like got a whole bag full of them and they are bags of money or something some kind of little bag very very detailed like this is not just generally bag shaped like I don't think I can get uh, can it zoom you know focus maybe uh, no okay my camera's not gonna not good enough to focus on this but, of course, it'll focus on my horrible fingernails. Uh, but there's, like, zippers and individual pockets and an anarchy symbol. And these are really detailed for such a small piece. And, of course, what game about bikers and violence would be complete without guns? Lots and lots of guns. Um, so it's just a big bag of money and guns. I, I, I approve. Okay, next we have our player screens. Looks like you have the Lynn Syndicate, the Mayans, the One-Niners, and Sam Crow. I have a feeling anybody who is a fan of this show is going to fight over who gets to play what group. Everybody wants to play Sam Crow. Um, and you've got your... Uh, yeah, uh, you've got your player cards here. Each group. Wait, wait, why is there. Wait a minute, okay. There's a fifth group, the Grim Bastards. But I don't have. That's interesting. I, I don't have a Grim Bastards uh, screen. Oh, okay. So these are your locations. They're kind of heavy. Like, let me. Kind of rip these open here. Very good, well, yeah, pretty good quality. Uh, you've got a little bit of fraying at the edges. Um, looks like locations, they are, at first I thought they were like coasters. Uh, cotton bag op. Emergency room. The Gun Factory. I don't know what any of the symbols mean yet. I haven't read the game rules, but... <laughs> Move all of one gang's injured... They actually call them dudes. Move their injured dudes. I like it. Um, so yeah, you've got a huge stack of the... Ooh. Porn Studio, all right. Crematorium, Devil's Tribe Brothel. Um, uh, East Bay Docks, the Hairy Dog, I-5 Corridor. So you, you've got a huge, I mean, look at this. Stack. That is a big stack. I have huge hands, all right? That is a big stack of locations. That's very cool. And lastly, oh, what is... I'm guessing this is your first player token, because there's no other, nothing else on it. Uh, we also have some dice. Oh, there's custom dice. We all know Tom's a sucker for custom dice. Okay, so they look like normal dice, but okay. They each have the gang symbol, so like here's the Mayans. Uh, I think this is the Lynn Syndicate. I think it goes like that. The One Niners. And of course the black one for Sam Crow. Uh, we have a deck of cards here, very thin deck of cards, probably not a huge factor in the game.
Once again, opening with my mouth. Oh, it's always the smart, the small ones. I don't know. I have. I, I get this weird feeling like that would uh, like terrify people, like people that are very picky about their unboxings. So <gasps> you can't do that. But maybe I'm wrong. <clears throat> okay. So these look like they're like random event cards. Uh, hassle. Uh, ride orders move rivals, dudes. Uh, ride orders may not be used to move your dudes. Okay. Uh, anonymous tip. All points bulletin. Arm the cartel. Uh, arrest warrant. So, okay. All kinds of interesting, like, event cards here. So, very cool, very cool. I look forward to playing this. I can't really tell you why I don't like the show. I, it just doesn't do it for me. I don't know. Bikers are... I've known a lot of bikers. There, there have been some good people, some bad people. Just not my thing. Alright, packing everything up here. And actually, my. F I, you know, okay. I do like to pop tokens on the video, but there's too many. Like, this would take me way too. Look at how much money there is, and they're tiny. Like, okay. Got one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. God damn it, I lost count. Five, ten, thirteen. Three, four, five, six, seven. Thirteen times seven. I am not mathing that out, but that's just this right here. Um, and then more here. That is a lot of tokens. I'm gonna need a bigger bag. So, all right. So I'm not gonna pop out tokens in this video. Maybe you guys get some kind of satisfaction out of it like I do. I am really curious, though, why I have... Uh, a game board for the Grim Bastards, but I don't have a screen. I'm sure that will show up in the rules. Um, each gang has a clubhouse card. Okay, so it looks like there's two different versions of the game. There's let, unleaded and high octane. Well, I guess once I, uh, once I get the game to the table, we'll figure it out, won't we? All right, guys. Looks like that's everything. Ha ha, box fart. All right, so there we have it. Sons of Anarchy, Men of Mayhem. A game of money, guns, and violent consequences. So, as I said, this game has gotten a lot of very good reviews, very surprised reviews. Uh, as far as worker placements go, apparently the mechanics are very well done in this. And I, for one, am really looking forward to giving it a shot. Like... It was based on those reviews that I'd read, like, on Board Game Geek, that really kind of pushed me to check the game out. Plus, I do have a couple of friends who are part of my gaming group that are really big fans of the show. And they're like, hey, hey, Cranky, there's a Sons of Anarchy game. You should buy that. You should let us play that. All right. I, I, I can't say no. Um, so, with any luck, I'll be able to get this to the table soon, and I'll be able to do a full review of the game, and let you guys know if uh, everything that I've heard is right or not, whether it's a great worker placement game, or, I don't know, I, just from looking through the components and the amount of work that went into this game, I really do think that it's going to be pretty good. Um, but yeah, you guys will see it right here on the channel. Alright, just so you guys don't miss that video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, you know, I am trying to grow my channel and trying to get my name out there. So, also, if you guys like my channel and you like the work you've seen so far, uh, please do check out my Patreon down in the comments below. Uh, even a couple dollars a month would be nice. You know, it's less than the cost of a cup of coffee or a meal at a fast food restaurant. And you're helping an artist grow. So, plus you get your name in the credits. <laughs> Alright guys, so this has been Sons of Anarchy, Men of Mayhem, an unboxing video. And as soon as I get this to the table... You guys are going to see a review for it. All right, guys. Also, don't forget to check out my Instagram. It's just the cranky old gamer. I do post lots of board game pics, uh, pics of us playing, pics of miniatures that I've been painting, uh, anything new that I add to my collection. So follow me on Instagram, the cranky old gamer. All right, guys. This has been Sons of Anarchy, Men of Mayhem. See you later.